Good morning. <laughs> I just got back from getting my lashes done. And does anybody else, when you get your lashes done, feel like you're coming out of like a coma? Like I am so delusional and out of it when I get out of getting my lashes done. And I'm only there for like 30 minutes, but I don't know. It's the closing my eyes or something for me. I don't know, child. But anyways, it's Monday morning. It's vacation prep week. I'm so excited. I look a hot mess. Thankfully, I was able to get my lashes done this morning because my girl had ended up rescheduling on me on Friday. But I had my nails crusty dusty, missing one. Hair is a trifling mess. But we're getting that all done this week and getting ourselves ready for vacay, which I'm literally so excited for. I'm like, my mind's already in vacation mode. I had like work I was supposed to do this week, but I'm like, I'm going on vacation. I'm mentally checked out. I'm mentally checked out. I'm so excited to go. But that being said, we do have a very busy, busy, busy week. And it's currently 10.05. So I think what we're going to do is I'm going to change the day around a little bit. I was originally planning to go to Best Buy because we're getting a laser facial today. Um, I had booked like a while ago. I don't know if I told you guys or not, but I was going to start by doing laser hair removal and then clear and brilliant, which is like this laser that helps with hyperpigmentation and texture of your skin. And it's supposed to have less downtime than a chemical peel. So I have that finally scheduled for today. So we're going to do that at 11.30, but I was gonna to go to Best Buy first because my cameras are supposed to be ready to pick up. I didn't end up breaking my cameras, had to drop them off at Best Buy. We gotta to go to Best Buy at some point this week. But I think instead of going to Best Buy today, we're just gonna to go to Old Navy. I'm looking at this food, Aaron's cousin cooked, but I fell asleep. Not really that early, maybe like nine. Nah, probably like 10 last night and they, Aaron brought me some food, so. I'm about to eat because I haven't ate all morning. Anyways, I think we're gonna go to Old Navy instead because Old Navy is in the same shopping center as the Laser Away place where I'm going to get my Clear and Brilliant done. So I feel like that just makes more sense and it's at 11.30. It's probably gonna take me like 30 minutes to get there. So I'll probably have like an hour and some change maybe to just look around Old Navy because I heard they have good kid stuff in there. So I figure it's worth a try to go in there before I go to Zara. Um, to try to find the kids some clothes for a vacation because we have like nothing packed, no outfits planned. I'm trying to do better about our family outfits. I'm trying to get us to be matchy matchy, not like super matchy matchy, but like monochromatic. Does that make sense? So we're going to do that. We got to go shopping, obviously. I'm not going to get a ton of like outfits for myself for this trip because it's a family vacation. Like I'm just probably going to wear like their biker shorts or leggings with like some type of t-shirt to the parks because we're going to universal we're going to something cove and then we're going to the beach so keeping it mom friendly nothing too serious but yeah so we have our laser facial i just got my lashes done i hate eating re-warmed up chicken but it is what it is i was gonna go to starbucks but I think I'm over Starbucks now. I've been eating it way too much. So this morning I had my lashes appointment. We have laser facial today. We gotta go shopping. We're getting box braids. I think I'm just gonna do large Nautilus box braids this time. On Thursday, the boys have to get haircuts. The boys have appointments this week too. Hair, like getting their hair done, getting haircuts. I have one appointment. I don't know yet if I'm gonna go to or not. I haven't decided, so we'll talk about that if the time comes. Oh, we're getting another session of laser lipo this week, so these greens are good. Mmm. I love greens. Mmm. This is good. It probably was real good last night and it was fresh and crispy. Because it's fried chicken, but I microwaved it, so now it's kind of like soft. Oh, yeah. That's the plan. I'm gonna eat really fast, fill up my water cup because I need to drink some water desperately. I'm still kind of a little bit sick from last week. So I'm probably gonna try to like either schedule myself like a quick appointment at either CVS or Care Now because I don't want to be sick for vacation, but I just have a lot of like phlegm and stuff still left over. So my voice is still a little bit raspy, my throat is sore. It's mostly bad at night. I'm usually okay during the day, but it hasn't gotten any better. So. That's kind of why I'm still sounding like this. But yeah, okay. I'm going to eat really quickly and then I'll just meet y'all in the car and kind of see y'all when I get to Old Navy and to my appointment. I woke up super, super late this morning. So that's kind of why we're in a rush or a little bit behind. I like woke up and nobody was here. And I was like, 
I was out of it. I woke up at 8 30. I was like, oh my gosh. It was so quiet. The sun was up. And I like jumped up and I was like, where is all my kids? <laughs> but they were already at school. Aaron had took them to school. I took my car to the car wash this morning and then dropped it back off to me and I was asleep the whole time. Can't believe it. I lied to y'all. <clears throat> I'm not gonna make it to Old Navy on time. So instead we're gonna open some packages before we leave for our facial which is fine i was really just trying to squeeze old navy in there but it's like a 15 minute drive from my house and i had to answer some emails and i got caught up and now it doesn't make sense to leave until it's time to get my appointment so that being said it's my favorite time of the day we've got packages packages we've got mail what is that blue schools okay been getting in some stuff from vacation and i ordered this cute little bag off amazon for my dr trip i think it's so cute it's like a little you know i feel like this was giving like the vacay vibes like you can do crossbody or carry it as like a little tote but are we seeing are we seeing the vibes when y'all see what clothes i picked up for vacation you'll be like oh okay but i honestly decided to try to find a lot of like dupes on amazon and stuff for this trip because i personally just don't know how i feel about traveling with all of my like nicer high-end expensive things overseas and just traveling with like luxury things in general just because it gets lost a lot and it's gonna help me save some coin. So I ordered a couple of jewelry pieces for my trip off Amazon for vacation that are giving the dupes. They're giving the dupes. But anyways, I ordered some jewelry. It's giving like Van Cleef. It's not obviously exactly the same, but I just picked things that kind of like look similar to the kind of like vibe I was going for, but again, I didn't want to like go buy anything, especially like not Van Cleef. I'm just not old enough or responsible yet is what I'm going to tell myself because the way I've already lost like so many jewelry pieces that were really expensive is sickening, like sickening. And I decided, yeah, I'm not responsible enough. It's because like I'd be wanting to wear my jewelry every single day and just be losing it. So anyways, I got the little Van Cleef inspired earrings and little bracelet. I don't remember all what I ordered. I thought I just got a necklace, a pair of earrings, and a bracelet. I got more earrings apparently. This is basically, I'm not going to take all of them out of the packaging because they're all the same color, the white and like pearl. That's what they look like off of amazon so i'm gonna take those with me when i go on my trip to the dr i'm also probably gonna get some um like rings off of amazon as well or maybe just like some more inexpensive jewelry um from some other brands because all the rings that i have are designer rings and i'm just not taking them because i know myself and i will i will lose them and yeah no i already did that once and i don't want to lose anything else so i'll link everything for you guys in my amazon storefront if you're interested i ended up ordering from andrea i can't pronounce her last name this was one of the dresses i got for my trip it's so much bigger than i thought it was gonna be drawstring anyways yeah it does but this is one of my dresses from the dr i'm gonna do like a whole try on haul so i'm not gonna like show y'all everything like super in depth today because before i go on vacation we'll try everything on just to make sure that it fits as a part of like getting prepared but yeah i ordered like some more clothes too i don't think i showed you guys these last week but a lot of my stuff is starting to come in i got some um dresses from rat and bella yeah we just got a lot of stuff coming in the mail i also ordered some more swimsuits because skims dropped again like another swimsuit collection so these feel like sunglasses, but I do not recall ordering any sunglasses. And then why are they all wrapped up like this? Okay, hold on. I'm gonna have to cut them open. I really honestly have no idea what these are. I know I did not order any sunglasses off Amazon. So maybe this was like a freebie or something. Maybe I got somebody else's mail. Oh, I'm tripping. They are glasses, but they're not sunglasses. They're blue light glasses. <clears throat> I need some blue light glasses from when I'm editing and like on the computer because my eyes get like so so tired so I just ordered some clear ones they have like they're reflecting real bad in the camera but I need those because my eyes get really really tired okay and we got a package from Sephora which I'm real excited about 
because I had been waiting for this to drop and then it dropped and I feel like I'm so late because I didn't even know they had released it yet. This is like my favorite scent from Way. Like y'all know I've been talking about the Melrose, but this is like my actual favorite scent and they didn't always used to have it in a body wash. They just had the scrub, I believe, but now they have the body wash and the lotion. It's the St. Bart scent. It smells Oh my god. I don't even know what it reminds me of, but it's definitely just giving vacation. It just smells like a vacation. Like, that's the best way I can describe it. It's like almost like coconutty scents. I'm trying to see if they have like some notes in here or on here. Maybe on the lotion, but anyways, I ended up getting the body cleanser, which is this, and the body scrub. I'm probably gonna pack these and low-key take these with me to Florida because if you haven't smelled the same parts before, Go to Ulta or Sephora whenever you have your next little trip there and smell it because trust me, you're going to love it. So I got the whole three step. But yeah, it just smells like a summer outside beachy type of vibes. I mean, it's called St. Bart's. Like, come on. So I'm probably going to take that with me on vacay, to be honest, as my travel fragrance. I gotta find a perfume. I feel like I do have a perfume that might go with that. It's very, like, coconutty though. We need to find a vacation perfume to go with that routine. I'm gonna have to look online and look at the notes and stuff. That's how I match fragrances and like build my routines and stuff is like by going on to like wherever they sell the product at and then kind of just looking at the notes and what the scent is like inspired by and then matching that with like my perfumes or like body mist and stuff like that. Let's go ahead and get going. I thought I had like more stuff to open than that, but apparently I didn't. It was just my little jewelry pieces that came from Amazon and then my waist stuff and then my, I guess, one little bag. I feel like, you know though, I feel like Amazon, I had other stuff that I feel like was supposed to come. Oh, I do have one big box downstairs. I found the dupes though, y'all, on Amazon. Like, it's lit let's go to our appointment i'm actually a little bit nervous for this laser facial today because when i originally booked it i didn't think that it was like a lot of downtime they're like oh you'll be red for like a couple hours after maybe but then it should be fine but i was like doing i was like watching people's videos or reviews on it last night and people were like saying that they have like flakiness or like textured skin for like the first week and i'm like Ugh. I'm gonna be out the house this week and like doing a lot of appointments and stuff, so I don't wanna be looking crazy, but okay. Let's go. Flaky. Yeah, so today you're gonna look like you have a sunburn. Yeah. It's gonna look and feel like you have a sunburn, so just no hot showers, no hot baths, don't work out today. Anything okay. that will make your body overheat, you'll just wanna avoid. And then over the next couple of days, your skin will feel just like sandpaper mm -hmm. um you'll just not want to exfoliate it off just let your skin take its natural course drink lots of water um apply lots of moisturizer stay away from retinols anything that's going to dry your skin out you're going to want to avoid but yeah it's not bad at all and it goes away like the flakiness in about like five to seven days for me uh, the higher the settings they go, the longer it stays Okay. Uh, because it's your first one, right? Mm -hmm. So they're probably going to start you out on a lower setting. I would expect maybe three or four days. Going on a trip on Saturday, so I was like... Where are you going? Um, to Florida. Oh, nice. What part? We're going to Orlando and taking our kids to Universal. Oh, fun. Yeah. Are you going to go to Disney World too? We did last November, so now we're going to Universal. I love Disney World. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. I would go back every year for sure. Honestly, what day is it? Is it Monday? You'll be good to go by Saturday. Because I didn't know. I was looking last night and then I was like, oh, shit. You may have like... <laughs> a little bit of flakiness left but it's not anything anyone's gonna look at you and be able to see it just you might feel a little bit dry while you're there but yeah you have really great skin sorry i'm like getting into your hair i just oh, like to okay. make sure you're extra numb yes please because they do <laughs> go into the hairline a little bit what do you think the pain i honestly don't think it's that bad okay. i hate doing laser hair removal i think it's so painful <laughs> on the brazilian mm -hmm. um i don't i can't even feel it when they do my legs it's weird how different areas take differently okay. i don't think this is bad at all okay um some people think it's a little bit spicier uh it feels almost exactly like a hot ballpoint pen going over your skin 
Okay. Uh, which sounds scarier than it actually is. I did the thermage. Oh, if you did thermage, you're gonna be okay. completely fine. <laughs> it thermage is way more painful than clear okay. brilliant is. That was pretty intense. When did you do the thermage? Like two weeks ago, maybe. Oh, okay. So not that long ago. Yeah. How often do you do clear and brilliant? Do you do it as maintenance? I try to do it once every month just because I work here, so I feel like why not, you yeah. know? But sometimes I'm lazy and I take <laughs> breaks. But I really do think it produces good results, so I try and do it at least every month. And if nothing else, for preventative, I mean, just aging in general, it helps with that. Okay, so you're all numbed up. Okay. So uh, something I like to do too is grab a glove and kind of rub it into your skin. I okay. feel like that helps Thank get you. you extra numb. So but other good. than that, do you need water or anything? I guess you have your skin. Yeah, like, that's so okay. Good. Thank you. Okay, well, I'm going to be up in the front, so I'll see you when you come out of your treatment. Thank you. Okay, we are obviously here and we're getting numbed. So like she said, I'm going to rub it all in. And uh, I don't know how long it has to sit for. I think 30 minutes before... I hate being in pain though, so I'm glad there's numbing cream. That's the little machine over there. But I rubbed in all my numbing cream, so I guess now we'll let it sit. Yeah, I didn't know there was two settings for it, so yeah. that's nice too. And then I guess I'll let you tell me once you can see like my skin, how many. I feel and like most people do like this, the six, the six I think because it ends up being cheaper as opposed to like right. buying individually. And then can you do it like up to like every three weeks or? You can do it as soon as every two weeks two technically. Weeks. Okay. Um, but it just depends on how your skin reacts because sometimes it can be a little too much. Okay. And you like it pinpoint bleeding and obviously we don't want that. Okay. But most people do it about every month or so. Okay. I was just wondering, like, with the six sessions, like, if you do them, like, close together or... Um, once a month, honestly, is perfect. Some people, like, um, do, like, I had one lady because she had, like, a wedding coming up and she was mm -hmm. like, oh, I really want my skin to look nice. That's kind of what I'm thinking. I'm like, maybe I'll do them a little bit more often just to, like, get the get results, results better. Yeah, faster, yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey, that's fair. A lot of people are saying, like, to do it just for maintenance-wise, too, like, yeah. once a month, so... Yeah. All right, I'm gonna have you wipe off the rest. Okay. <laughs> My face is pretty warm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I don't know if I need to wipe it maybe one more time. Alright, so I'm gonna just take a few four pictures. I just head on one, okay. two, three. And then turn to either side. One, two, three. I'm gonna dim the lights and I'm just gonna put some goggles on you, okay? Okay. Well, since my eyes are going to be closed, I'm only going to film probably, like, when she first, like, does a couple passes, then I'll probably get my camera down. My lips are down. Wish me luck. I need some of this lemon cream for the back, so. Alright, I'm going to cover your eyes. Okay, I'm starting you with the lowest setting. The next appointment, they might, like, increase it, but if it's ever too much, let us know. We can always go down, okay? Okay. All right, so starting at your forehead, one, two, three. And your forehead tends to be the, the spiciest part. Okay. Is it just like one time per area or? Um, we go over it a total of eight times, but like that's oh. one, this is two. Okay. And then I go, I kind of cross hatch it. Okay. So three, four. Okay, gotcha. I get really red really easy too, so I know it's gonna be like super red. <laughs> yeah! Next time I'm gonna schedule my appointment later in the day so I can have the rest of the day. Put this on you. Starting from the chin. One, two, three. This will help soothe. Yeah, that's good. Alrighty, Helen, I'm gonna sit okay. down. I'll leave that on for just a couple of minutes and then. I can leave some of um, this PF out for you too. Okay, sounds good. Whew, that was spicy. That was very spicy. Ah! 
I mean, obviously, y'all can tell, like, my face is very red. And I already get red about every little thing. So I just know that this is probably going to have me red for the next couple of days, which I was not really going for. But it is what it is. I booked it a long time ago, and I really just wanted to, like, get it done. So my face will at least be probably, hopefully, looking good for vacation. So I was going to wash this sunscreen off, but I think I'm just going to leave it on. They had some, like, Cetaphil sunscreen there. Um, but it obviously, like, I can't, if y'all can tell, it's like a white cast. So I was going to put my Elta MD on, but I'm like, if my face is bright red, does it really matter that I have a white cast on my skin? I'm not too sure. Basically, the maintenance for it is just use gentle cleanser and moisturizers. You're not supposed to put anything, like, harsh or exfoliating on your skin, at least for the first three days. So I'm really hoping that my redness goes down by today. So I'm going to ice my face for a little while before I get ready to get the kids from school and just, like, lay down for a bit. And hopefully that'll help with just, like, some of the swelling and redness. They also gave me some face masks that I can put in the freezer that are like sheet masks that I can use on my face as well to help with like the healing process and stuff. So I'll probably do one of those before I go to sleep tonight, but it's just very, very hot. Like it's an intense, like I've never really had a sunburn before. Like I have, but not like where I get like flaky, but not like a sunburn, if that makes sense. But that's what they say it feels like. So it's just very hot. Like my face is just real hot. Um, I was like blowing cold air on my face while I was like on my way back home, but this is day one of Clear and Brilliant. We ended up doing both lasers. So the Clear and Brilliant, there's one laser head that basically targets fine line wrinkles, texture. And then there's one that does, that focuses more on hyperpigmentation. And since I told her like, oh, well, I get like a little bit of texture here and there on like my cheeks, but I, my main concern is hyperpigmentation. She was like, oh, well, we can do both. And I was like, okay. So she did the first pass with the one that is more, that goes deeper into the skin which is for like the fine lines, the texture and wrinkles. And then she went over it again for a second pass, which I feel like is why I'm like super, super red. And that one was for hyperpigmentation. Cause I feel like the most, when I see people get it done, they're never as red as I am. And maybe that's cause they only do like one, one or the other laser, if that makes sense, or laser head. So yeah, this is what we're looking like right now. I just cleaned off my little eye space mask that I have and I sprayed it with some antibacterial, um, stuff just to make sure that it's clean because you really don't want to put anything on your face after you get this done they say you can wear like makeup and put products on your face 24 hours after but ideally it's just better to let your skin go through the healing process because it's essentially open and basically what the laser does is like disrupts your skin and makes it produce more collagen and then also helps to like flake off dead skin cells and stuff like that so this is what we're working with right now there's like some frost on here i'm trying to like get off but i don't know if i should wash my face or just leave the sunscreen on i'm not really too concerned about the white cast because obviously i feel like i look crazy regardless but and the sunscreen's already kind of dried down but i did want to put some aquaphor on my face just kind of as like a barrier between my skin and the ice i think i'm gonna do some aquaphor this is just the baby one I'm just gonna put some aquaphor on my face. Another one of my nails broke off, so we're looking rough. I also didn't want to like seal the sunscreen into my face, but maybe I should wash. Maybe I should just wash, cause I don't want to make my skin like break out or anything. Okay, yeah, we're just gonna wash with a gentle cleanser. Face. Okay, I'm just gonna use my Tatra cleanser because I feel like it's pretty gentle. I probably shouldn't have put the aquaphor on there, but let's just see if we can get this off. But anyways, yeah, I'm just gonna wash my face and then I'm gonna sit for a little bit with the ice on my face to kind of help. And then I think we're gonna cook tonight. I wanna cook like some potatoes some smothered chicken, so. Whew. This is what we're looking like to go pick up the kids from school. Crazy, but I like the sun hat. I think the sun hat is cute, but my face is still really red. I put some more sunscreen on it, did a little icing. It's been so cloudy, rainy, gloomy, cold for the last like two weeks. Like it got hot and now it's back cold. So it's, just ugly outside today. So I was thinking, I think I'm gonna make the kids like 
a little dessert before dinner because they're going to get their haircuts tonight. I think I want to do like a little ice cream sundae bar. So we'll set that up when I get back from picking them up. I'm going to go head out and get them now and then we'll do that and probably just turn on a movie or something until they go get haircuts a little bit later. And then tonight I'm going to cook some smashed potatoes instead of like mashed potatoes and some smothered chicken because that's what I'm good for. A little good smothered chicken. So I'll see y'all when I get back. I got another package. The kids are home from school, so it's a little bit noisy, but I'm gonna show y'all what I got. Just yelling, but I wanna show y'all because I'll forget before I start cooking. Oh, we tried to do the little ice cream board, but it didn't work out. The ice cream was all frost burnt. We did have ice cream, but we didn't make any shakuni. Anyways, I got two dresses from J Looks Label. This one I like because it's giving like sheer, like skin, but it's lined on the inside with like this tan color. So it's a long dress. I'm really excited about this dress because I've been looking for something yellow. Okay, I also got a couple of accessories from JLux Label. It just seemed fitting. They've got a lot of vacation pieces. So I got these earrings. Okay. And then I also got some just like gold hoops. Got those. And then I got this clutch that I thought would go cute with the yellow dress. I thought this was cute. It also has like a gold um, strap you can put on there, but I thought this would be cute with my yellow dress because it's neutral. I just gotta find some neutral colored uh, shoes. That's it, camera battery's about to die, so I'll come back when I'm cooking din -din. You Wanna say hi? Hi. Nothing too serious. I'm about to wash my face and then we gotta get ready to drop these kids off at school. Cause somehow their daddy keeps on. Keeps on. Getting me to take them to school. I don't know how he's doing this. It's really cause he'll be like, 
the night before. Oh yeah, you don't take the kids to school anymore. I'm like, bro, no. He had to go back to the DMV. He's still trying to get his ID or at least a paper copy of his ID before. We go out of town, so. <clears throat> plan for today is hopefully we have an appointment at 10 30 hopefully i'll have dropped the kids off by like 8 30 i wanted to work out today so i'm trying to hurry up and get out the door so i can take them come home do my little at home workout because i missed like two last week and i just know my trainer is probably over me and I'm over me. I need to, I complain, but yet I don't do anything to see results or progress. So that's my fault. I'm going to try to work out, get a little workout in today. <clears throat> Definitely need to do our Bible studying or time today because I didn't do that yesterday. Because I, I don't know, yesterday was just a very chaotic morning. But um, yeah, so I forgot to bring my paper towels up here. <clears throat> Anyways, yeah, that's the plan. Our appointment at 10.30 is an appointment to consult about facial filler and basically like Botox, etc. So I've been wanting to get Botox in my forehead, which I'm 100% going to do because I have like just like already like when I make facial expressions and stuff like lines there. No. So I'm gonna get Botox on my forehead, but I'm also thinking about maybe like doing some facial balancing and getting some filler and stuff. And we're just going for a consult today. Okay, I do not wanna hear all the grandies. Because I already know y'all. And while I appreciate your, you don't need it, girl. I still wanna try it. Like there is obviously things that everybody nitpicks about themselves. And I feel like I have a very unsymmetrical face. And with filler, I can always get it dissolved, and it does go away. It's not permanent, so so we are gonna try it out and see what happens. But that's where we're going today. And I'm probably best buy because this camera is tripping. I'm gonna go put on my clothes, and then I'm probably just gonna. Well, let me do something to my hair really fast. I need to just put on moisturizer and SPF. Look at my hair. Oh. This is not what I signed up for. I'll see y'all later. All right, I'm back. I did not wear this out of the house, by the way. I put it on because I'm gonna do my Bible study and then I'm gonna hop in the shower really quickly and probably rewash my face. I just wanted to tell y'all really quickly because I feel like I get these questions every single time I post my vlogs. This is the Bible that I'm currently using. It has like a ton of space. Or writing in there. Um, you get it off Amazon. I tried to link it in my past couple videos. Um, I'll try to add it to my storefront as well, which is always in my description box. Everybody always asks me, but it's in there, I promise. But yeah, that's the Bible I use. And then the Bible app that I follow along with, it's literally just like the regular standard Bible app for your phone. It looks like this. And I just go on here and basically when you open it up every day, it looks like this. And you basically just read whatever the verse of the day is. And then they have somebody who will kind of like explain it to you. And then there's a guided prayer. And then you can obviously find the chapter in your Bible, read about it, reflect on it, put any notes in there that you have. Or that's what I do at least. So that's what I'm about to do. And then I'll see you guys once I get ready to leave. We're ready to go. This is the look. We brought back the plaid trench coat. We got on a gray set today. Carrying the same bag I always carry wherever it is. I left it in the car, actually. Um, I'm going to head out a little bit early just so I can fill out any new patient forms or anything that I need to do. And I'm obviously going to ask if I can film so you guys can see the process. I wanted to tell you guys before I go, though, you need to listen to this. If you're in a relationship or you're married, I always find it interesting to still listen to things that relate to marriage or relationships because obviously you can always improve them. And hearing from people who are actually experiencing things can be insightful. Union Church had their 2023 marriage night panel and I'm only halfway through it. It's an hour and 16 minute long, but so far it's just been so good, so insightful. And it's not what you would traditionally expect the answers to be. I think you guys should check it out if you're into that. I'm gonna finish listening slash 
watching it because it's on YouTube. So it's also like a video while I'm in the car on the way to my appointment and just finish it up throughout the day. But so far, it's really good. Come on, let's go. Let's go. This is awkward. Okay, well, I indeed do not have an appointment today. My appointment is tomorrow. And she was like, I have an appointment today. And I was like, ah, I think so. And then I looked at my phone, my laser lipo appointment is today and my appointment for my consult is tomorrow so i feel like my day is all discombobulated now i'm kind of upset because i could have like stayed at the house cleaned up a bit it is what it is i digress so i'll do it later tonight so it's 10 15 and we're 20 minutes away so by the time we get there we'll be like a little bit early for our appointment we'll probably just stop and grab some food i guess because i'm not gonna have time to get my nails done i figured like the consult would be pretty quick so then after i left here i would just go to the nail shop but the laser lipo usually takes about an hour at least and if i don't get there till 11 30 i'll get done at 12 30 i just don't want to push it as far as like getting the kids from school because it usually takes me like two hours to get my nails done i guess we'll just kind of play it by ear and see what happens but we might have time to go buy old navy and look and see if we can find anything for the boys. So yeah, I guess we just gonna let the day take us. We have no plans or agenda now. <laughs> That's all right. That's my bad. Let's get out of here. Does anybody else duck whenever you go under these things right here? Do y'all see that? I always be like, I duck my head because I feel like I'm. A, I don't know why I feel like I'm above my head, but I be like, <laughs> we're going to Chick Fil A. We're almost there. I'm just waiting to get through this light. We have arrived at Chick-fil-A and I'm gonna get a little soup and salad because I need soup, you know, to help soothe whatever I got going on with my throat or whatever. I still need to go see about that. I don't know what kind of salad I wanna get though because the last time I got a salad from Chick-fil-A, I wasn't really feeling it. Maybe I'll just get regular ranch this time. I don't know if I'm like over the avocado lime or what. And then I got the Italian too and I just was not digging it. So I think I'm gonna just do a regular Cobb salad with no corn, no bacon and ranch and a cup of chicken noodle soup and then we're probably just gonna eat in the car because i'm right here by my appointment but i'm like 45 minutes early good morning um can i do a cob salad with dressing uh can i do ranch and can i take the corn and the bacon off and then can i also do a cup of chicken noodle soup is that much right thank you all right they don't do my pleasure anymore at chick-fil-a i, I think tiktok ruined it if they say it before you say it or something, then they gotta give you a free. I don't know, but they do not say my pleasure at Chick Fil A anymore. I don't know if they held a staff meeting about that or the customer service either. I don't know, <laughs> which I don't care because it's not that big of a deal. But I just have noticed that, like at Chick Fil A's, they don't say that anymore. But I'm almost done with listening to this little thing. It's only got nine minutes left, so. You realize that we easily give our best selves to our friends, but we don't as easily give it to each other. So how can we flip the two? We got our food. If you guys have not tried the frosted lemonade from Chick-fil-A, need to. It is amazing. I also heard, which I wanted to try it this morning and I forgot because I was going to work out this morning, but I ended up messaging my coach and I was just like, hey, can we like take the workouts down to like 20 or 30 minutes? Because I just feel like that would be more feasible for me right now. Plus, I'm about to go on vacation. We really going to have to try again in April. I'm not going to lie to y'all. They say if you mix the light lemonade with ice and vanilla protein and you mix it up, it tastes like this. So I want to try that sometime, but it's very good got my soup i love getting chick-fil-a soup i'm gonna put my little crackers in here my grandma used to always get this for me on like rainy days so i'm having such nostalgia right now because it's raining outside if y'all can't hear the windshield wipers i feel like losing people never gets easier like they tell you it gets easier but it really doesn't but I will say that instead of always being like super sad, I try to enjoy them as happy memories and not let it make me so sad. But I swear, like even if I don't cry, maybe like as often as I did, obviously, like when she first passed away, I will still find myself some days just like boohoo crying curled up in a ball somewhere. Like it's just so hard. But we'll be back together soon enough. Life's really short if you think about it. It feels long sometimes, but it's really short. Like if you could think like you only get this one life and you really sit there, put it in perspective, like it's not long at all. Anyways, here's my salad. I'm gonna toss it up in a minute, but I'm just gonna sit here, finish doing what I was doing, which is watching my little video until it's time for me to head over to my appointment. 
I wish I would have remembered today was my laser lipo appointment because I didn't even bring my waist trainer to put on after, but it's all right. Okay, we are here at the place where I'm getting my laser lipo. I'm gonna see if they have any of my before and afters and maybe we can see if we've made any progress today or what. I do feel slimmer, I will say, since the last time I came. I don't know, I've had laser lipo before and I feel like it does actually work. You just have to like be consistent with your multiple sessions and also drink water and it does help to exercise as well, but it doesn't require technically exercise. So depending on who you ask. But anyways, yeah, let's go. It's raining, so. I'll see you guys when we get in there. Okay, we're done. I feel like skinnier. I don't care what anybody says, I think it's working. <laughs> We're gonna go ahead to Best Buy because I feel like that's all I really have time for. It's 12.45. I can probably get to Best Buy by like 1 and then I'll probably shoot over and pick the boys up from school. Maybe I'll take the kids to Target. I think my problem with taking the kids to Target is taking the baby to Target. Carter and Carson did okay the last time I took them, but I don't know what we're gonna do today. Okay, I'll see y'all when I get there. Woo! It's raining so hard. Okay, well, that was low-key kind of a fail because they don't have any cameras in stock here that i wanted anyways and i was talking to the girl and she was basically like because the camera that i got that i wanted to use for like i don't know routine videos and stuff like that i had ended up getting the sony alpha 7 mark 3 because i just it's popular amongst content creators i like the settings and the features that you can do on it etc but it's just so big that i felt like i was never really utilizing it as much as i would something else and I think I told y'all I don't want to get the E10 or I didn't want to get the E10 for vlogging purposes like taking it out because I just feel like it's too big but she did recommend she was like you should get a G series lens on the E10 and then she was like if you want to use it for vlogging then you still can but it also has so many other capabilities because you can change the lens out but it's also more compact the only difference is is like you don't get like a full frame so for instance if when I press record on this camera basically what it does is it has a crop sensor lens so it crops in way more than it originally looks like it just gets closer to your face and when you're vlogging you really want that like wide angle so you can see the most like background and like just everything in the shot right but also when you get like a bigger body camera the sony alpha cameras it still stays more crisp when you zoom in which is important for a multitude of reasons and content creating but i feel like since i've been so heavy on vlogging lately she kind of convinced me that maybe like i could use the e10 for like around the house and i would get more use out of it than getting a bigger camera so i'm gonna go home and do a little bit more research i had done a lot of research on the sony alpha camera that i bought before i got it but i literally only used it like two times before it broke so i'm just gonna go home probably watch some more youtube videos tonight and just do a little bit of my own research to see like what would be the best fit for me what i would get the most use out of because they're both expensive one is obviously way more expensive than the other one but i was thinking even if i bought the e10 and i bought the lens because they come separately i would still have money left over because i basically just got a refund from breaking my big camera that's why i always tell y'all y'all should get the warranty and buy your cameras from best buy not from amazon but that's why i don't like any of my equipment from amazon because i feel like if you're gonna get it you need to get the warranty just in case something does happen then obviously you can get it replaced but oh and i saw my friend up in uh best buy hi lyric if you ever see this she came right up to me and was just like you look so tired and i was like yeah i i am i'm tired it's raining outside i'm still just feeling like a little sick so but i was thinking like because i'll have more money left over then maybe i can get like a drone also so we can have a drone for our trip in florida which granted you kind of have to like learn how to work drones so that would be another process but they also have some like little mini vlogging cameras in there and i've always been super interested in those kind of like cameras because they're just so compact and small. Like, I just think they would be perfect for like vlogging, especially out in public, because they're just like teeny tiny, like people would barely notice them. Yeah, I'm gonna go home, do a little bit more research. I'm gonna be stuck in traffic for a bit, so I'll probably just see you guys when I get back to the house. I was also thinking about getting another Sony ZV-1, but I already have one that's in there for repairs, but they're taking forever. Like I dropped it off at the beginning of the month and it's the 21st, so I'm like, like usually it takes like two weeks, but it's been almost three weeks and they still don't have any updates for me about my other camera, because I always keep a backup vlog 
vloggy camera because I literally beat the crap out of my cameras. Like, I drop them all the time. So, right now I don't have a backup. We'll figure it out because I really do want to get all my stuff by the end of the week. And if I order it online, I can still get it before we go out of town. So, she was like, yeah, you could just order it online and you should be able to get, like, two-day shipping. So, as long as I order something, like, tonight or by tomorrow, I should be good to go before our trip. But we got a package in the mail from Walmart that I'm super excited about because Walmart is really starting to pop their shit now that they see, like, everybody's really doing a big one on the home decor and stuff. Walmart, they have these big arched mirrors that came back in stock and I finally was able to get one so we're gonna go home and unbox that and put it up in my room because I did end up ordering a super super big one from Crate and Barrel I believe but it won't be here until April because it was on back order I just want to redecorate because I feel like our house is just so undecorated I'm just gonna wait until we move and then I'm about to start packing next month anyways like all of May I'm pretty much gonna be out of town which I have a meeting about today also and then after the meeting maybe I can tell you guys it's like super exciting maybe and we'll see how the meeting goes it's very exciting that I even got invited in the first place but regardless yeah i'll be gone pretty much all of may and then my birthday month is june and we have to move out in june so it's like i don't know my landlord plan on my top anyways because i have sent her multiple like maintenance requests like about the wasp nest i think i was telling y'all in a vlog something else i told her was going on and she dead ass just was like okay girl and then never responded so i was like oh <laughs> okay you clearly don't want rent on April 3rd. Let me stop playing before she evict me. <laughs> but no, I didn't appreciate that at all. Girl, like you could have at least said something like, it's been three weeks since I texted her about it and I have yet to get any response. Ah. I'm ready to move. I'm waiting for my taxes still. I've been emailing my tax girl like for the past three days and she hasn't responded to me because she told me I was gonna have my taxes back by last week. So I should have been able to apply for my home loan by the time we got back from vacation because i'm just gonna wait till we come back from vacation but like girl i need to start looking for houses like come on i need my taxes everybody is just playing on my top like what is going on they're gonna make me show out and i don't want to do that i don't like being confrontational i don't want to be rude but they're just blatantly ignoring me like back-to-back -back emails let me go see when my messages to courtney was february it was a month ago i'm sitting over here thinking oh maybe it was like two weeks ago that i messed what does that say February February 21st today is March 21st got the kids so we're about to go to Brahms I think at first I was like we could go sit down at this little frozen yogurt place by our house but I need some water and they don't have any water and then I forgot I have a Target drive-up order so we need to go to Target and get that I was trying to think what we're gonna do for dinner last night I cooked I don't know if I cooked with y'all or not I tried to film a little bit but I ended up getting distracted because my friend called me and she was like showing me all her clothes for our trip to the DR and like trying everything on so she just like had my attention and I had started filming and then kind of forgot a little bit so i don't know i'm, I'm kind of in the mood for like chicken alfredo tonight but i don't have the noodles nor the chicken if i'm gonna go to target i could just go into target but it's also rainy maybe i'll do shrimp too i'm trying to cook more seafood since just because i'm biased to eating seafood and i don't normally cook it doesn't mean other people in the house wouldn't eat it so maybe i'll get a bag of shrimp and some chicken and yeah i'll probably instacart it we're just gonna stop by brahms because it's on the way home get a little ice cream probably a little chicken tender as a snack i didn't want to do a lot of grocery shopping this week since we're going out of town anyways we don't really have a lot of groceries at home we just have fruit and that's about it so see you in a bit yeah, can I have two junior ice cream cones? Can I do one with vanilla and then whatever the blue battered ice cream is? Can I also do another um, junior cone and can I get orange sherbet? And then let me do a number nine with a six piece. Uh, can I have a large water? Hi. Thank you. You may not make a mess or your dad is going to kill us, okay? Your dad's gonna be mad, don't make a mess. Thank you. Thanks. Cheers. Say, I just get cuter and cuter every day. Hi. Is that like 
almost locked this door. Hi, that's a book of us. to the gym this morning. I'm feeling good. It's 8 o'clock. We're about to finish our morning routine. Take a shower. And then we got big plans today. Not really. <laughs> Thank you to Care Of for sponsoring today's video. This year, my health goals are to be more active and to just take better care of my body in general as I'm recovering from postpartum. And an easy way to get one step closer to achieving that goal is by taking my daily vitamins. I know for me personally, in the past, sometimes it was hard to remember to take my supplements every day, but Care Of has really made it a lot easier because they ship high quality personalized vitamin supplements and powders conveniently to your door every month. And each shipment comes with a customized pamphlet showing you exactly what you get in your individual packs and why it was recommended specifically for you and your health goals. Something else that I really like about Care Of is that you have the freedom to customize your individual packs. So if you have vitamins and supplements you already know and love, you can choose to add those to your monthly packs. And if you need some guidance, Care Of can help with that too. All you have to do is take a short and easy in-depth quiz about your lifestyle and health goals to get personalized doctor back recommendations, taking the guesswork out of what supplements are best suited for you. Care Of's ingredients are thoughtfully sourced and backed by research so you can feel good about what you're putting in your body. So make sure you check out Care Of today and for 50% off your first Care Of order, go to takecareof.com and enter code McKennaWalker50. Again, for 50% off your first Care Of order, go to takecareof.com and enter code McKennaWalker50. Thank you again to Care Of for sponsoring today's video. Good morning, officially. We worked out this morning. So now I'm gonna do my regular, regular stuff now that I'm ready, cause we gotta leave out of the house in an hour or so. We're gonna do our little Bible reading and then I have a little bit of work to do that I have to turn in for a brand and then we're off to our appointment. So we're gonna get our nails done today. We're going to the little face con facial console. Uh, we also want to run by Ulta so that we can get some new stuff. I saw this little thing on TikTok yesterday and I think it's a game changer. I also got a new shower product that I'm really excited to tell you guys about. Ooh, we're also getting some really good packages in the mail today. My thing from Walmart never ended up coming. The mirror is actually supposed to come today. But y'all look, Lululemon is just, it's not my favorite. I'm not going to lie. I have this one set from Lululemon and I feel like the pants like always fall down. Like, I always have to pull them up. And then this top, like why is it so much to tea like i need it to be more coverage so i'm gonna have to put a jacket on but this is what we have on today because all the laundry's dirty so lulu it is maybe i just need to try some of their other stuff because i i think they have different collections i'm not too sure i just can't justify the price for leggings like it's not giving it's not fucking giving like if somebody bought it for me as a gift okay sure but me spending my money let's read our bible who is in you? First John 4.4 4 says, You, dear children, are from God and have overcome them. All right, I'm done reading my Bible study and I just feel compelled to share something that I feel like maybe other people probably struggle with because I feel like it's common, but I feel like one thing on my spiritual journey that I have learned or that I kind of really just process right now is that I have like no problem knowing that like God is always going to like take care of me and I, I just trust that my life is going to be fine regardless. Like whenever I start to worry and stuff, I, I can always bring myself back to I know it's going to work out however it's supposed to work out. But I feel like the biggest thing that I mentally 
battle with myself about is like things that happen in my life that I'm not in control of that I feel like are ruining the picture that I have for my life. And today I just came to the realization that like God has already shown me that my life is going to be greater than I could have ever imagined. I mean, even at the young age that I am now, my life has already been more fruitful than I've ever thought that I would be like, even in my 30s, 40s, like way later in life. I have an extra son that I never thought that I wanted. So there's just so many things that I feel like that he's already given me and shown me that my life is better than I ever could have imagined it or mapped it out to be on my own. But there's like one specific area of my life that I just feel like I have a hard time with because I'm like, I want it to look like this. And right now it doesn't. And it's so hard for me because I feel like I try to do all the things that I'm supposed to do in that aspect of my life. But for some reason it just still, and I'm talking about like just like family dynamic, like doesn't look like that. But then today I was reading the verse of the day and like, it was kind of a little bit longer today, like the follow along. And it just really made me sit still and be like, okay, it's not perfect right now or what I think it's supposed to look like. But now I feel like I'm more, okay, that aspect of my life can also still be greater than what I imagined. Because obviously in my head, it's what I want my family dynamic and relationships with people to be is the best that I can be. But maybe I just have no idea how good it can actually be. I'm just not in that space of my life yet. Like it's just something to come. But I get hung up, y'all know, about my family, just life and stuff like that and relationships a lot. And now I just kind of feel like maybe it'll be better than I expect. You know, that like maybe it'll be just like way better than I could have ever imagined and dreamed and hoped for. And I never thought about it like that before. Yeah. Anyways, that was my little take. I just wanted to share it with you guys. I'm giving y'all little bits and pieces of things that I'm learning amongst my spiritual journey. We are, like I said, going to do all of our errands and stuff. I have a little bit of work to finish up but i'm super excited to tell you guys i think i can tell you guys because it's like pretty official now i'm not going to tell you guys maybe what brand but i did get invited to go on a brand trip to new york and i'm literally so excited about it and the only reason why i want to tell you guys is because my actual trip is not until may and it's gonna be so exciting when you guys see like i i mean i think i'm kind of like me like um but when i come back from florida i have to do like a photo shoot and so i don't know if the photo shoot's gonna be here in dallas or if we're gonna fly to new york for a day but regardless i've never been to new york so i'm super super lit and just excited to like have you guys come along with me and again like these the opportunities like these are like i could have never imagined that this would be my life i thought that i would probably graduate be a nurse work in a clinic come home make dinner have my kid like those are still all things that i love and enjoy that i feel like i still get but i got an even better version of my life than what i thought i was gonna get i'm really really excited about the opportunity i have my meeting we're finalizing everything today I should be doing like my photo shoot and stuff next week, but I told them like I'm gonna be out of town because um, we're going on our family vacation. So I just unfortunately cannot make it work at the moment, but yeah, I'm super excited about that. So that's a little tea on that. I'm gonna get my work done really fast because we need to leave out of here in 45 minutes. So I will see you guys once we're headed to our first appointment of the day. Are y'all gonna be mad at me? I didn't get any footage while I was in there. I was a bit, a little shy, but <laughs> we're headed to the nail shop now. Basically what I just went to was a facial balancing consult because I just am interested in doing a little bit of facial balancing. It's basically like getting Botox in different areas of your face or slash filler that just kind of improves and enhances like what you already got. And it looks good on pictures. Okay, so argue with your mammy if you don't want me to do it, but I did schedule my appointment. We basically just decided that I'm gonna do baby talks in my forehead for sure, just cause like when I make facial expressions, I'm already like getting lines and it's preventative. So that, and then I'm probably gonna do like some talks here to help lift up this eyebrow a little bit, um, a little bit right here, a little bit to define the jawline, nothing serious. I promise I'm not gonna come out looking ridiculous. I'm gonna look like me, but better. Only thing about it is she was like, you don't wanna do anything or have any events coming up for two weeks after you've basically done it. She was like, some people will leave and you'll look fine and you won't even be able to tell, but if you bruise easily, you might need some downtime. So I booked for the middle of April or the second week of April. 
and that is when we'll be coming back and i'll obviously record when i do the whole process and stuff today was mostly just the console and it was my first time meeting her i don't like to bombard people and i'm also a little bit shy so yeah we're headed to the nail shop finally i was hiding my hands the whole time so i'm like i do not want her looking at my bigger nails they look like shit we're getting in some cool stuff from best buy today i actually ended up deciding on what kind of cameras i was gonna get and i was able to get next day shipping online when i checked out at best buy so we should be getting in all our stuff today which i'm lit lit litty about so i'm gonna show you guys all my new stuff when we get home too of course i'm gonna take y'all into the nail shop with me i don't know what i'm doing with my nails though like i have an idea of what i want to do but i don't know if anybody at this nail shop is going to be able to do it because it's like a design not all nail shops can do design nails so we gonna see i see y'all when i get there this was the song in the club in 2021 when i tell y'all i don't know i'm so glad i've just been having a very positive outlook on life lately y'all know i always get sidetracked and talk about random stuff but i'm just like so grateful for life i loved my life before like everything and don't get me wrong a lot of bad shit that I would not wish on my worst enemy has happened to me in the last couple of years but also just like where I was at versus where I'm at now like we're lit baby we're we are we are rags to riches literally that shit's really crazy like really crazy hmm done i ended up going with like this very soft pink and then i don't know what is i just love a little glitter a little sparkle so i did like a little sparkly french tip it's giving childish but <laughs> it is what it is i really wanted to do something different but there's only like one tech in here that really does designs the girl who normally does my nails she's so sweet and she was like yeah i don't think you'll like it if i try to do it like that and i was like okay it's fine so we just did something simple cute toes to match love that and wouldn't you know it it's it's already time to really go pick the kids up to be honest so i am gonna stop and get myself a little snack because i have not eaten all day oh when i get home we'll open up i think one of my new cameras my big mirror from walmart got delivered and i'm so excited i didn't bring it in the house yet because i was running a little bit behind when i was trying to get out of the house to my first appointment also i don't think i'm gonna get facial balancing so <laughs> <laughs> like both Aaron and like other people around me are just I know and I know some of you guys are just gonna be like girl like you're doing too much okay can I have a four piece tender spicy uh, can I have ranch water and can I have uh, fries that's it this was the most convenient place to go so I don't even want to hear anything about it <laughs> we're at golden chick I love golden chick let me check my to-do list oh shh let me see if there's an Ulta near us I need to go to Ulta there is one seven minutes away okay we're gonna go to Ulta I'm glad I remembered because I almost forgot. We need to go to Ulta so we can be smelling good. I want to get a new highlighter for my little cheeks. So y'all know I'm trying to be a girl these days. Okay, anyways, like I was saying before I ordered, I don't think that I'm going to get facial balancing because everybody keeps telling me that I don't need to touch my face. And even when I did my console, she was like, girl, you're so young. But I am going to get Botox in my forehead, though, just to help with, like, lines and wrinkles and stuff. But that's pretty much all I think I'm going to end up doing. Just let me live, okay? Like, I don't want to hear it. I don't. I don't want to hear it i don't want to hear it we just have so much access to so much stuff via social media so you'd be like oh what's this oh a little bit of that and, and i do think that i would like it a little bit but i feel like if i start touching my face i won't well obviously you like you can't stop like if you want to maintain the look you have to keep getting filler because it like dissolves and goes away but anyways child i'm done talking y'all because i just already fucking know the comments are gonna be like i don't want to hear it i'll see y'all at all time awkward I, when i pop back up and it hasn't been a couple it's not even been a couple days it's just been one day but today is friday 
we got the laundry delivered and then do y'all see all that stuff over there oh yeah we're gonna get into it yesterday i didn't see y'all because i was really doing some other work and then it ended up being a flop so i really could have did a whole bunch of other stuff but i digress i'm not even gonna get into it it's friday morning so that means we're one day away from vacation <laughs> we did our normal morning thing this um we did our normal morning thing on friday took the kids we got starbucks they went to school and then aaron and i went to the mall and um i think the last time i saw y'all i was going to ulta slash oh i ended up going to old navy um i went to trader joe's this morning too and got some fresh flowers i'm about to catch y'all up but that's just that that's that's kind of the rundown but i'm about to do a haul slash put all the outfits together for packing um before i run and go get the kids but i ended up getting some fresh flowers because my brother is going to be here and um stay while we're gone out of town because we'll be gone for like a week and i need somebody to bring my packages and have some so aaron's mom just came by and so nicely helped us clean the house um before they came and so i'm gonna put out some fresh flowers i got them some fresh clean bed sheets like new bed sheets and some new towels because his girlfriend's also staying with him while they're here but anyways and i'm talking about my younger older brother not not the one not the little little one i have another brother which y'all have seen him before but i don't know not as much if that makes sense so anyways let's get into the haul we got a lot of stuff i got a lot of stuff upstairs too y'all so i'm trying to stay organized i think i'm gonna lay everything out on the couch and then bring the suitcases down here and just put everything in there because most of the kids outfits are already down here so i did end up getting some more air tags if you travel just get air tags because they can't lose your luggage if you got an air tag. No, you're going to know exactly where your stuff is. <laughs> so I got some more air tags because we needed some more for our luggage. And I'm going to show you guys how I'm going to pack and everything because I think I cracked the code. Because low-key traveling with, um, like, a, as a family of five is, is low-key kind of hard. So I don't know why I came over here. I'm trying to... Okay, here's my problem. I really was like, I should take all this stuff upstairs, but I don't want to. It's a ton of stuff, so... The dishwasher is also running in the background, but okay, let's get into, do we want to do, all right, let's do Zara first. This is one of three bags. We got a ton of stuff. These are just a bag of shoes. We got them some little white sneakers from Zara because they're not super expensive. So if they get messed up, it's not really that big of a deal. So all the boys got a pair of shoes in their size. And then, I think Melo's shoes are over here. But we found some cute outfits. I'm excited. I'm just gonna show y'all one of each thing, but every boy got the same thing. So they got these black vests, um, just in case it like gets colder at night and we go out to eat or whatever. Um, we got these cute little, it came in like a set. It's Lion King. But it's giving vacation-esque, so we got that in a little short set. Oh, I got my hair done, I, obviously. The elephant in the room. I did go get my braids done last night. I got large knotless braids and just added some curls. And yeah, this will be that's the look for vacay. We also got some shorts, just some regular jean shorts. We got this little windbreaker in case we go to the park on a day where it rains because sometimes in florida it's just like rainy in the mornings especially so we got these cute little wind breakers and i made everybody get like neutral colors so we can all be matching so they also got some neutral colored like little what are these cargo sweatshorts i made aaron get a whole bunch of stuff out of zara he doesn't usually shop in zara He's not a Zara kind of guy, but I was like, you need neutral clothes because you will match our aesthetic while we're, while we're on this trip, okay? So he got like just plain colored neutral cargo pants. And then they had these cute like swim trunks. We got those and we also got a black, a black pair of swim trunks. And then another just like little cargo sweatpants. 
And then we got some neutral colored shirts to wear. Again, not his vibe, but I was like, you will participate in this family aesthetic. And that's it. Thanks for coming to my third talk. I went to Zara too, but they did not have anything in there that was like casual, neutral colors. So I just didn't end up getting anything. Oh, I also made Aaron get this like blue set that I thought was cute. He did not like it, but uh, I was like, whatever. I don't care. This can be our, our pop-up color day. It came with a shirt. I don't know what the shirt is, but yeah. What else did we get? I was pretty much everything from Zara. I found some cute stuff at Old Navy when we were there. I got Mellow this little denim outfit and they had a denim outfit for Carter and Carson at Zara but Aaron was just like the denim is kind of girly and I was like whatever but I got one when I was shopping the other day by myself for Mellow and then I ended up matching them some little outfits I gotta find all the pieces now okay so again every kid got the same thing but they got these shorts I mean this shirt with these shorts I don't know if y'all can really see it. It has like little palm trees on it. So I feel like it was giving vacation vibes with these neutral colored khaki pants. And then they also got this little dinosaur outfit. Well, it's not a dinosaur outfit, but it's a dinosaur shirt with these little brown pants. These are all whoop, from Old Navy. And then I thought this one. just something casual, cute they can wear to the park. So like I said, everybody got a pair of those. I found these cute little basics at Old Navy for Mellow. They're like a ribbed material. I thought these were so cute. However, I will say, I missed, this was only $10, but Old Navy was high too. Like they were saying, the girls were saying like, if you're on mom TikTok or boy mom TikTok, they were saying Old Navy had some like cute stuff like to go there before you go to Zara or something. But I feel like the price was still like, I mean, it wasn't as high as Zara, but it was damn near up there. So I was like, also found this little rumper for Judah. He has it in an olive green color too, but he wore it to school yesterday. I thought those were cute. They did have some cute, some cute stuff in there. Like I said, all the kids, they all got the same exact stuff. So I'm gonna lay out all their outfits, make sure they all have everything they need. I ended up getting another one of these carry-on bags from Target for packing. I need to get more organized than this. I was gonna do this in a more organized way, but I was like, I'll have to take everything upstairs. Like I said, I got new sheets for my bed. And I also got new towels for them to use. What else did we get? We got a lot of stuff here. Okay, I went to Free People and I got some things. So I was looking for just like neutral things that I could wear to match the boys. Besides like I have my skim sets and stuff, but I don't know, I just wanted something a little bit more loose fitting. So I ended up getting these little overalls to wear on one day. They're shorts, I hope they fit. I didn't try anything on. These are in a size of medium. I think crisscrossed. They have no stretch to them, so. I'm scared about the booty and the thighs, but it is what it is. Clothes are so expensive these days. It's just not giving. Why did I get three pieces and it's $300? Like, excuse me? Anyways, this is why I wear the same clothes every day. Like, it's just, it, anyways. But I got this little tube top to go under this little flowy situation I got here. I thought this would be cute. I could wear it to Universal, like, if it's going to one of the park days. Or I could wear it if we, like, went to, like, a little dinner or a restaurant or, I don't know. I thought it was cute. I'm obviously going to try everything on. Y'all will get to see all the outfits on everybody in the vlog next week. But... It's just what we're working with. So we get, we got a Target bag. Oh. This has nothing to do with vacation, but I decided that when we come back to make my life easier, the boys will be wearing uniforms to school for my discretion, which means they're gonna wear black pants, black shirts, and their black Crocs to school every single day. And we are going to eliminate the, trying to find different outfits, changing our clothes a thousand times, throwing everything out of the dresser. Then you don't know what's clean, what's dirty. I'm like, nah. Mm -mm. minimal Monday through Friday that's it and so <laughs> I literally got them all cat and jack shorts and shirts 
And plus, like, everything they wear to school, too, like, they do activities, they get stains on it. They came home with paint all over their clothes the other day, which I'm not mad about, but it just doesn't make any sense to, like, you know, just black is easier than white. Like, even if you try to bleach white, sometimes everything doesn't come out. I'm like, stains are less likely to show up on black anyways. So I got Mellow and Carter and Carson, five pairs of black shirts, five, pla five pairs of these little black shorts. They already got black socks and then their Crocs. I got them all these pairs of black Crocs because Carter and Carson have grown out of their ones from last year. Look how cute these are. Mello is officially wearing baby shoes and they're all so cute. Yes! We all got new Crocs. I got some more loofahs from Amazon. I got black for Aaron. And I got some neutral colored ones for myself. I like the Amazon basic loofahs. You can like spread them out and they'll get pretty big. I like that they come in the neutral color. And then what else? I got a couple more things from Amazon. My like eczema has started to like flare up really bad on my arms recently. And I had ran out of my user. And so I'm like, I definitely need to start back using it. So I ended up getting the eczema relief uh, treat, like treatment spot. And then the regular lotion in a jar. And then I got some Kojic Acid Soap. I think I was telling y'all about that in the last vlog. I'm gonna try to like lighten up just, you know, some little areas before summertime. And then I also got this little thing to cut fruit. Finally. This is not for my onions. When I was talking about getting something for the longest, I was like, I'm gonna get something to chop up my onions. But I got a little fruit slicer because I feel like this will make it easy for me to prep the fruit for the week. Because so I can just throw it in here and then however this works. I can just slice the fruit really fast. So. Um, what else did we get? Oh, I ended up getting another swimsuit from Skims. I can't wear it right now. I tried on one of my swimsuits that I got from Skims that's like not mom friendly, like it's just the regular bathing suit. Yeah, I will not be going anywhere in any two piece bathing suit until I get it together. Cause I was like, ah. but I did really like this and I know I will get back in shape and so I bought it anyways, but it's um, from her other line that she dropped from Skims Swim, but it's like this, can y'all see? I don't know if this is nylon or what the material is or if it's bow leather, but it's like a rubbery material. So I got it in this nude color because I figured it would be, it would be cute once I'm skinny. <laughs> And then I got a couple more random packages from Amazon. We're gonna do this in a couple minutes before I go pick up the boys from school. It's like a little base for your flowers. It's so cute. Like you put the water in and then there's like little holes where you put the flowers and it just makes a nice little long bouquet, which I thought was real cute. So I got that. Connolly sent me some PR. They sent me their detoxifying mask. So I'm excited to try this out because I really only use one mask and it's the Glyman turmeric mask and I'm almost out of it. So this will be what I'll try next. But I got that in PR. My mirror did come from Walmart. I think I was telling y'all about that earlier in one of the vlogs, but I'm not going to open it until we get back from out of town because it's, it's huge and I just, I don't have the time today. And then I just got some more Amazon packages in today. So let's see what this is. Oh, my laptop case. I wanted to put my laptop in a case for traveling. And I found this puffy one on Amazon. It's so fluffy and nice and neutral color. So I'm excited, but I'm just gonna slip my MacBook in here for when we're in the airport. And then, what else do we do? Oh, I got a little dupe bag. Off. This is for my trip to the DR, but I got this little bag to take to the DR because I feel like it's giving vacation. It's giving, it has like this material. I think it's supposed to be kind of like a dupe for the Jody from Bottega, which my personal opinion on buying Bottega bags is like, if you know designer, then you'll know it's Bottega, but Bottega doesn't even put logos on it. Like I have a whole Bottega bag that was so expensive 
and you can get the exact same one off Amazon for like twelve dollars, and there's literally nothing different about the bags, like nothing, <laughs> nothing, nothing. Yeah, that's pretty much everything. Like I said, all the boys got the same thing, so I just didn't feel like it would be. I sh I didn't want to show y'all everything three times, but that's everything. I already showed you guys when we went when we went to Target. Was oh that was last week when we got the boys swimsuits and stuff. So I'm gonna pack those. I'm gonna go. Let's go upstairs. Oh, this is what I got from Ulta before I go up there. Everybody's saying to try this and mix it with your body oil. I ended up getting two of the amber ones because clearly I can't read, but I wanted to get the vanilla one. So I'll have to go back and try it out. This smells good, um, but it's more of like a cologne scent and I feel like it's more for a boy. So I personally wouldn't wear it but i put it behind the boys ears and it lasted all day like they still smell good when they came home from school so that's kind of an idea and i'm sure the vanilla one is similar so i am interested in going back to get the vanilla one that they have i don't the brand is called nemat it's n-e-m-a-t but you can get it at ulta in the little section before you're checking out so yeah the girls are saying that you mix that in your body oil and then it like makes you just smell good all day basically so it's like it's low-key a good hack I did end up getting some new cameras. Y'all know I went by Best Buy and they didn't have anything that I wanted. But I did end up getting the Sony E10 and I got the um, E15G lens because that's what the girl at Best Buy said was the best lens for this camera. I'm probably not going to use it more so for like outside vlogging. Like if I go outside my house, I'm still going to keep my Sony ZV-1 because it's just smaller and more compact and this is just heavier and a lot bigger of a you know camera so i'm probably just going to keep this one at home but i was playing it around with it a little bit yesterday and the quality on here is very very good so i did go ahead and get this i feel like it can serve multiple multiple purposes as a you know for content and then i'm really excited about this other camera that i got i'm gonna show you guys i have it upstairs in my room and then I also did little air tags for the boys for when we go and when we're in the airport, just just in case, just in case. They wore these when we went to Disney, um, but they had like little clip-on ones inside their pants, but I ended up doing the wristbands this time, so they're gonna be wearing their little air tags. I did get the camera. I didn't just buy the body. I got the camera with the standard lens that it comes with, so I'm gonna have to play around with both of them. I feel like Personally, I can't really tell a difference, but this camera is really cool with the features that it has on it and stuff because when you turn it <clears throat> on, you have like different modes that you can, oh, the lids on or the caps. You have like different, mm, can y'all see that? I'm sorry. You have like different modes you can choose from like up here at the top and okay, that makes it slow. But basically it has like one of those I want to see how I can show you guys like if I hit record but when I move it like moves like it tracks you like this has eyeball tracking to stay focused the one that I'm filming on right now but this one actually kind of like it's so weird I don't really know how to describe it but if I vlog with it then you guys will get to see but you can either keep it like at a wide angle I gotta figure out how to get it wider. That's the only thing, because it's like super like cropped, which I don't like, but anyways, we're gonna play around with this while we're in Florida. Yeah, okay, let's go upstairs and see. I'm excited about this other camera. I feel like it's gonna be a game changer for me, because y'all know I'm a shy girl in public with this right here and i think it's gonna be perfect for the trip like perfect look at this little camera okay if you've been seeing these on tiktok well i've been seeing these all over tiktok and i didn't want to get it because i was like there's no way the quality is really going to be that good but i actually did some research on it and i spent a day just kind of like doing some research and i ended up getting it because it is lit it basically like is a little pocket camera it's a dgi pocket 2 and it like 
look like it, it's on a gimbal. If you're if you create God, like it's this is literally crazy because it keeps this like the shot so steady, and then when you move it, it can get. Oh wait, I'm sorry. I'm sh like y'all can see, but look at it. It's moving. I'm gonna turn it back facing y'all so y'all can see it. But like you can get panoramic, good quality. You can push it up. And around I keep going the wrong way it's going slowly but do y'all get my point like and it tracks your face so I don't have a memory card in it right now but you press this button and then no matter which way I'm like moving it the shot is staying steady so I think this is gonna be so fun when we go to Universal in here but you can also take pictures on it you can put it on a stand it also came with a detachable mic so if I want to like put like it, it comes with like this little piece you can extend it to and then you can attach the external mic to yourself. Um, it has a decent mic on it regardless, but that's an option, which I think is cool. So I'm really excited to take this bad boy with us to Disney versus having to take my whole Sony ZV-1. Just because it is a little bit bigger, you have to keep it on the tripod. And it's just, you know, this is obviously like way more convenient. So I'm excited. I think I'll get really good footage while we're gone. And I cannot wait. So anyways, this little thing is so freaking cool. Yeah. Let's go see. My dirty ass closet. I'm trying to think. Okay, I wanted to try on my Skims stuff really fast because did I tell y'all we have something to do? Like when I, we come home, it's Aaron's little cousin's birthday party. So I'm we're our schedule is just jam jam packed today. But I got those two outfits from Free People, and then I think I'm gonna do just like wearing my swimsuit like to the park low key on some days because you do get wet at some of the rides. But I never tried on any of my skim stuff, so I want to try it on really fast. So let's do that. This is the first swimsuit. I'm only gonna try on one of each. If y'all remember my last couple of vlogs back, I got like different colors in all of the swimsuits that I got. We're gonna try it on and see what it's giving. So hold on. This is the one piece. Can y'all see with the zipper? I like this. I mean, I think this is the most flattering it's gonna get on my body type right now. I wouldn't wear it just like this though. If I was with my kids, I would put the biker shorts on with it or the cargo pants. I have the cargo pants in this color, but I don't know. I don't know where they are. Aaron had put all my swimsuits in here, but my closet is a mess. What the fuck is new? Okay, there. Are. These are supposed to be the same color per the website, but I would cover it up with either pants like this. I think this is cute. Like I would probably just wear this as an outfit for the day. Like I'm gonna be hot and sweaty anyway, so I don't really see if like it, I would make a difference um, if it, this is a swim top or not. But yeah. And then you can bunch up the bottoms to like make them stay on your ankles, which is nice for me because I'm really short and they're a little bit too long. So I like this. Can y'all see, see it? But I also got it in brown and a couple of other colors. Like I said, I got the, where are the shorts? Obviously these are not the shorts that match this top, but if I'm actually like swimming with the kids or getting in the water, I would put on the biker shorts i mean i could wear this i'm just like super modest i feel like when it comes to like being around my boys in like public and places and stuff like that i just like to be more covered up because i feel like it's more appropriate um but yeah obviously i wouldn't wear the blue and this together i would wear this color but i don't seem to i can't i can't locate it but i have the biker shorts and this top in a couple of different colors so y'all will see while we're on vacation but I just want to try it on but I am I'm 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 pleased with with how this is looking so the battery's about to die but um yeah okay I just want to try it on really really quick so I could get an idea if, if I need to do last minute shopping but I think we're good so in case anybody was curious this is what it looks like if you zipped it down I probably could have got a medium but if you wore it with the zipper down, it would be definitely tittying. But this could be cute for like vacation, obviously. 
See, nip slip. That's not going to work. But if I wanted to be family friendly, I would just zip it up. It all of a sudden got so cold outside. I changed my clothes. Ugh, something more comfy. Whew. Can't believe I started my period. I'm so sick. I want to show y'all my little setup. So basically, I only brought one down because I don't have that many hands. But um, this is what we're going to do as far as getting in the airport and how we're going to pack. So we're going to do two of these carry-on bags but we're gonna check them and then we're gonna take two of the big suitcases and how I'm gonna pack it is basically like I'm gonna pack everybody's outfit for the days together in the suitcases and then I'm probably gonna put all of our swimwear in one bag and then the other suitcase put this bag on top of it toiletries and then the other suitcase will have all of our shoes and if we need like extra accessories or whatever, it will go in there. And then we'll check all four of these bags. And then we're only gonna take one actual carry-on, which will be like our diaper bag that will take like just little stuff that the boys will need in our electronics and any valuables that will go on the plane with us. And we decided that we're gonna keep the stroller with us through the airport because we usually check the stroller, but it's so much easier if we can just put whatever carry-on bags or items we have in the stroller and roll all the way up until we get into our seats and then we can have the stroller right when we get out of the airport so the kids can just hop back in the stroller. Because before, like I said, we used to check the stroller and it was just a nightmare. So that's how we're alleviating that. And obviously this is easy because I have two hands, Aaron has two hands and I can easily push the luggage or the stroller vice versa and then we don't have to worry about one of us carrying pushing holding all three kids like lots of times we did not we, we could not get into the three kid vibe but i think we figured it out this time so yeah that's how we're packing i just have to share just in case somebody because i'm it's it's very hard to pack especially we're going for seven days and we're, we're packing very minimalist so everybody's gonna have obviously their seven outfits for the seven days but everybody's taking the pair of shoes that they're wearing and then one other pair of shoes and that's it we're all taking the same toiletries so i'm just going to pack a body wash lotion a toothpaste everybody will have their own toothbrush obviously and a hairbrush and then i have my hair braid so i really don't need anything but edge control and edge control brush sunscreen and we're going to take full size stuff instead of travel stuff because we'll be there for a full seven days and that's that but I'll come back and show you guys the hygiene stuff and things that I'm going to pack and little stuff like that. So I'm about to go pick the boys up. Mm. I really want to get kava, y'all. But the kids have been begging to get Panda Express. So I'm going to make sure my babies get some Panda today. That'll probably be their after school snack. And then you guys are going to be so proud of me. I just want to talk to y'all. Is that okay? Like, I'm in the car. I could stop talking, but I don't want to. So... I didn't see y'all on Thursday and it was basically because I had to, like I said, do some work for our brand and um, so I was just like, oh, I'm going to take the day off of vlogging because I'll see y'all on Friday and we'll just be packing and going to the mall or whatever, but we're back in a morning routine. I mean, we're going on vacation next week, so it's really not like anything, but I am happy because we kind of found like a rhythm and a group that works. So for the past two days which is not a lot but it's a progress we've been going to the gym so we all woke up me and Aaron got the kids ready for school we dropped them off for school together and then we went to the gym together so I went to the gym yesterday pats on the back to me we didn't go this morning because Aaron just wanted to go to work early this morning because we obviously are going to be out of town and he just a lot of ripping and running so please don't make me stop thank you yeah so that's going to be our new our new family Morning routine when we get back from vacation, we are going to be um, just going to the gym together in the morning and dropping the boys off at school. And then that's how I'm going to get my workouts in, which I feel like is really going to help me, you know, stay on track with my fitness journey. So excited for that. I feel like we're getting back into a rhythm. We finally found it, girl. You know, I couldn't get it together forever, but we finally are getting into the groove of things. So 
only thing that's going to come with that is when we get back the boys will be back in football on sunday so that's going to be another extra thing to add up because basketball season was over and now we're jumping into football again so yeah and then i think i told you guys about going to new york and that type of thing for the photo shoot for times square and <coughs> I think we're going to end up doing the photo shoot here in Dallas. They're just going to arrange it for me to do it in a studio here. Okay, yeah, so the sh photo shoot is going to be in Dallas. So I don't have to travel, which is good. The only thing is, I don't know what I'm going to do with my hair. I got to get my hair done as soon as we come back. So, yeah. I don't know. I was going to keep in these braids for the next month until I got some mo braids for the DR. But now I don't know what I'm sis gonna what I'm sis gonna do so I'm not gonna stress about it I'm excited and ready to go on vacation I'm in full vacation mode I'm not doing a lick of nothing I'm like literally not doing a lick of nothing so I'm excited I'm so excited we're all excited the kids are so excited Aaron's excited I'm just I'm so ready we had such a good time at Disney so I just feel like now that we kind of know like what these things are about it's gonna be a good time and at Disney we didn't even get to go to the water park and Universal has like the big water park it's like Volcano Bay or something it's like supposed to be real cool so I'm really excited for that I'm ready to get on this flight in the morning we're staying at an Airbnb too which I think I told you guys already we're not staying on Universal property because we're gonna drive one day and go to the beach even though they're saying the beaches have like some type of plague algae right now I'm like child but we're going to the beach I don't care we might not get in the water but real we'll be going to the beach I said what I said <laughs> going to the beach we're going to let me tell y'all what it actually is because it does have a name we're going to discover cove okay because i was like we're going somewhere else besides universal we're going to discover cove which i think will be fun that's like an aquatic life type of place anyways i don't know it looks real real pretty on the little videos and tiktoks i've seen so we're going there as our first day of the itinerary like when we first get there we don't have anything planned like the day we get in from our flight we can just kind of explore the resort swim do whatever chill then sunday morning we're going to discover co and then monday we're going to universal wednesday we're going to volcano bay did i say that right no monday universal tuesday volcano bay wednesday universal thursday universal we're going to universal for three days but I think we put Volcano Bay in between one of those days. And then the other days we're going to go to the beach. And then the next Saturday morning, we're going back. Or Saturday morning slash afternoon, we're going back to the airport to come home. So, I'm excited. I'm done talking. I will see you guys later. So I'm going to activate the air tags and start putting them in there. These are the little toiletry items that we're going to be taking on vacation. I'm taking full size bottles, which I think I told you guys earlier, and we're all just pretty much going to use the same thing. I take the way St. Bart's line just because it smells like vacation. I really want to know what I'm smelling because I cannot describe it. I'm like, okay, let me look at the back of the ingredients. I need to pull it up on my phone because I really want to be able to like articulate better. Okay, the fragrances are notes of dragon fruit, orange blossom, rose, amber. Yeah, use this to prep your skin for a real beach day. A, a spray tan or transport yourself in the shower for a minute. Okay, I need to screenshot this because I've been trying to find a fragrance to match it and I really haven't been able to find one or think of one that really matched really well with this, but okay. So this is what I'm taking for body wash. I'm gonna scrub, because we'll be there for seven days, so I'll at least use it once. Also gonna take the body cream, 
And then I'm taking my Billy razor so I can shave if I need to. Taking my Necessaire Serum. I'm also taking my Eucerin. I want to take my Summer Fridays Glow for the beach, the vibes, the skin showing. We want to be sparkly. I'm also going to take my um, Super Gloop sunscreen for my SPF. And then this is the perfume that I decided on. Um, this is the La Toupee. I feel like it just also has a very like vacation, tropical smell and it's very springtime friendly. So this is the perfume I'm going to take. And then I'm also going to take my mini beach walk by Replica just because it's a good outdoor fragrance. Um, besides those things, I'm probably going to take like, I'm going to take my Laneige lip sleeping mask. I'm also going to take self tanner so I can be bronze. This one is for your face. I actually really like this. It works really well. I rub it in with my moisturizer when I do my skincare and it's magnificent. So besides that, everything else that I'm taking is just like regular stuff. Y'all know my skincare routine for the most part. I feel like we have established that. Toothbrush and things like that. So my loom deodorant, I'm gonna take the creamy version. Because I feel like it's a little bit stronger. So, besides that, everything else is going to be my, ba my basic stuff. Something I really like about Kara. I'm going to take my vitamins and then I just will take seven packs of these and then I'll have my vitamins ready to go while I'm on baking. I forgot to get edge control, baby. But I'll just probably get it when I get there because we're going to go by Target when we first get there, too. Like, we're not taking a bulk of a lot of things. Um, we're just going to shop when we get there, so we'll get like extra diapers um, if we need it when we get there. And we're going to be staying in Airbnb, so we're going to cook breakfast and stuff. So we're going to go shopping probably the first day that we get there. So I'll pick up some edge control probably at Target or something. Yeah, I usually pack my toiletry stuff like the morning that we're leaving just because I'm going to use all of these things in the morning. So I'm going to leave them out on the counter besides the shower products. I'm going to leave these towels right here out and then I'm going to change the sheets in the morning after Aaron and I wake up from my brother so that he has some clean sheets. I also got some new pillows that I want to put on the bed and a new throw blanket. So let's see. I'm cramping so bad right now. I just want to sit down. I'm not. I'm not feeling it. I was looking to change up the bed a little bit, so I saw these the other day at Target, and I was like, these would be perfect for the bed. And then we got this. It's by the same brand, this Casa Luna. All right. Let's see what it looks like all together. Somebody don't ask me so fresh and so clean. I can't wait to get a new bed frame. I liked this bed, but when I first got it, I wanted it so bad. But I don't really, I don't really like it anymore. All these pillows are from Target. I don't like these anymore, which is why I want to switch them out for something different. But I don't know which order I should layer the pillows in. I don't know. I think I might take those back pillows off all together because ideally when I move I want to have like a very minimalistic bed like I just want something that's never going to go out of style something very simple modern that you would see maybe in like a hotel or something so I'm probably going to do a very like square upholstered bed frame or I might get um a canopy bed I haven't quite decided yet but I'm going to work with someone who has better taste than me when we move so we'll get that all figured out which is why i just like haven't even decorated or did anything but that big mirror that i got from walmart i'm gonna put on that wall right there just for the meantime and then i think i told you guys i have another large arch mirror that's even bigger than that one coming for the living room but it was on back order from <sighs> crate and barrel i'm like so out of breath y'all packing is but all I have left is to put pack the shoes. I got everything else in the toiletries and then we're good to go. So that's pretty much it. Oh, what was I going to do? I'm going to do the flowers with you guys. I was going to say I'm going to end the vlog, but I'm not. We're going to go downstairs and let's 
do our little flower arrangements and then we will say our goodbyes and I will see you guys and we will be in Florida. All right, gonna do a little skincare, get ready for bed. Um, a little scratching on my face. Oh, nice child. The camera battery died while I was trying to do my little flowers, but I ended up finishing up the flowers. And I'm about to get ready to go to bed. Um, another little thing that I have that I'll show you guys is like this little thing that I got off um, Amazon and I put my jewelry in it. I had some like little cranberry pills in there too. I guess I took from the last trip that I went to. I don't know, maybe I need you guys with Child, anyways. <laughs> I'm gonna put my jewelry in there, but I'm getting ready to just wash my face and get ready to go to bed. I'm gonna call it a night. I have everything all packed up and ready to go. And besides like my little hygiene stuff I'm gonna use in the morning, but I'm gonna take me a bath and relax finish up editing this video so that way i don't have anything to worry about tomorrow when we get ready to get on our flight so this is what my can i don't know if y'all can see that or not but when i wipe my face it has like these little like almost specks on it from the clear and brilliant treatment and that's kind of what makes your skin feel like rough and sandpapery because it like almost gets these like little black specs you can't see it but this is what my skin is looking like i'm definitely gonna have to change cameras because those black running lines mine in the bathroom are making me want to bum the perimeters of my face still kind of feel sandpaperish but the rest of my skin is smooth so i don't know we have to finish up some more treatments they say you should do like seeks i feel like my skin like the overall just like appearance of my skin looks better. I had like a couple of breakouts, but. All right, girl. I'll see you in Florida.